How's it going guys? My name is Jihad and I'm Future Jihad and here we keep it on complex. Today I'll be showing you a beginner's guide, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to start and finish a project in Premiere Pro. And I'm going to tell you things that past Jihad forgot to let you know. I'll let you know on the basic tools you'll need and a couple shortcuts that will be beneficial for you in the long run and to edit this video. And while we're doing it, I'll actually be making a video with you. Just a small video that I'll upload to Instagram or something like that. And today's topic will actually be how to spring a deck of cards. And without further ado, you, let's get into Premiere. So you finish recording your video, taking your SD card out, put it to your desktop or laptop, whatever you're using. Open up Premiere Pro and just wait for it to load up. Okay, from here we'll start a new project. We'll title it Spring Cards. That's better. And I'm gonna save it to my Save it to my hard drive, my SD drive over here, in a folder I named Premiere Projects. So you can save it wherever you like. Press OK once you press OK once you're done doing that. So so this is the workspace that you're gonna have to familiarize yourself with. As you can see on top here, there's a couple workspaces you can use. And today's one we're gonna stick with editing. If you don't see it, go to Window, Workspaces, Editing, and Pretty much all your panels will look like this. It has all the basic panels you will need that'll be essential for your video, so just stick with that. And as you progress more into video editing, you can customize your workspace to however you want it to be in the future, once you grow more adept. But for now, just stick with editing. So once you're done in your main display, we'll go to down here, and it'll say import media to start. You can double click that. Get style with Premiere Pro. So find wherever you saved your files at. I saved it to get started with Premiere Pro. If you have a bunch of files, say like this, and you want to select all of them, just press the first one, scroll down to the bottom, hold shift, press the bottom one, all of them will be selected. But in this case, I just have two. So I'm just going to select those two and press import. Or you can import the whole folder. And this is where your footage will live for the entire video in your project folder. And you can toggle between other views if you want. So like there's these views. So depending on how you want to see your clips, you can do that from here. I like to keep it in this one. I just like seeing my footage and I can you can you can scrub through it a little bit. And then if I switch to here, you can see here it says 23.976 frame rate. So basically what's that saying? When I bring this file into my timeline, it'll create a timeline that will be 24 frames per second. Generally, that is what you want, the frame rate of the timeline to be 24 frames per second. So depending on what you filmed your video at, say 24, 30, 60, or 120, those will be the amount of frames within a second in your timeline. So if you're filming at 24, then great, you won't need to make any more changes. But if you weren't and you want to make some changes, you'll go to settings, sequence settings. You can't do it at the moment, but I'll show you in a minute. So I want to begin editing this video right here. So you double click that. It will pop up another panel on top, saying source panel. From here, you can scrub through your video. And we're gonna start by finding our in and out points. So from here, I'll put in all my usable clips that into my timeline. So I'll find the start of my video. You can press space to play the footage. So once you've found your start point, press I. You'll see this grayed out section that'll pop up. Continue playing. And once you've found your out point, press O. And you can see from here, this section between these two blue markers, they'll save this portion of the video for you. From there, you click, hold, and drag into your timeline. And now it's in your main timeline. And as I, as I was saying before, if you want your timeline to be 24 frames per second, go to sequence, settings. And since I was already filming in 24 frames per second, it's already done that for me. And these are all the settings that I want actually. So I'm going to not change anything, but say for instance, you were filming at 60, like that. You go to time base, time base frames per second, and then 
and press 23.976. Generally, the main changes you'll do within sequence settings is the frame rate and the frame size. Other than that, you can keep the rest the same. And press OK. OK, so now that our, now that our clip is in our timeline, we will use the selection tool, which is right here, or the the selection tool which is right here or the shortcut for that is V so if I press V this thing will pop up and now you can move your clip anywhere in the timeline and now I will do this for the rest of this video until I have a clean a roll clip Another essential tool you'll need to grow custom with throughout editing in Premiere is the razor tool, which is right over here. You'll use this to make like cuts in your edits to take out parts that you don't like. So to get, to get it out, say we started in the selection tool, which is V, and you want to go to your razor tool, which is C. The way I like to remember it, C for cut. Then you use this tool to make cuts wherever you like. So for instance, right here, and cut that out, cut that out. And then I'll go back to my selection tool, press V, and then I'm just gonna delete this little section. So I'm pressing the delete button. And now I can delete this by clicking it and then pressing delete. And it'll bring everything in front of your timeline. That will delete that little space and bring all your other clips back together again. And another fast way you could do that as well, instead of actually using the razor tool is to just hold V and come to the ed the edges of your clip and just drag it like that to whatever size you want. Uh, quick tip if you want to actually have more space while working here just double tap these tracks so double click and it will expand to be a bigger track and you can do that with the soundtrack as well so double click it will expand that track so you can see more of what you're doing. Okay so I finished my main A roll but now Say you have extra clips you want to put in as well. You can go back to your project panel over here. And I had a second angle filming as well. So I want to pull that in as well. So same as before, double click. And from here, I'll do the same thing as I did with the A-roll, but just with the second angle. So give me a second to do that. I actually kind of find this amusing because I've never actually seen myself edit. <laughs> like, look at the concentration and you're always biting your bottom lip. Do I do that? Bro? Is this what you see all the time? Interesting. So what I failed to mention before is that I'm editing using a mouse and a trackpad. It makes the process a little bit quicker. And what I found myself doing consistently is actually using the trap cat, trap, uh, using the trackpad to zoom in on the timeline. But if you don't have that option, if you're not using these to edit with, you can use this option on the bottom here. Just this little like slider you can use to expand and deflate the timeline, so you can zoom in and like make more detailed adjustments. So with these, with my second angle, I just want to bring the video and not the audio. So I'm going to find my in and out points. So here for instance. So after you found so after you found your in and out points, now I just want to drag the video without the audio. So I'll come here and you see it on the bottom of the source panel, there'll be two symbols here. And it'll say drag video only and next to it will be drag audio only. So if I wanted to drag only the audio, I'll drag from here. Since I want to drag the video only, click and hold, drag onto your timeline. As you can see there, I just made a mistake. So another, a shortcut that you want to become very friendly with is Command Z or Control C on PC. So press Command Z and that will revert the previous action you just did. Okay, so now I'll put the clip, the video clip on where I actually want to put it. And as you can see, since this clip is above the clip under it, this will be the clip that will show up first in the viewing panel, but it will still play the audio from the track below it. And just a quick tip from here on out, no matter where you watch your videos from, the main difference between uh, Mac and PC 
in terms of shortcuts is Command and Control. So if someone is telling you a shortcut and they say Command C for Mac, that means for PC it will generally be Control C. That's what I noticed. So just keep that in mind on whatever future videos you decide to watch. So you've done editing your video and now you're ready to export. First, make sure that your viewing panel or your timeline is selected. If you don't have one of these two selected, when you attempt to export, well, nothing will happen. So just make sure one of them is selected. Go to File, Export, Media or Control M. This box will pop up. Generally, leave the format at H.264. It's a format most social platforms are comfortable with. And below that is presets, which is actually very convenient. It does all the settings for you. There's like a bunch of presets within it. And depending on where you want to upload your video, you can choose one of these presets. And I want to upload this, for example, to YouTube in 4K. So you click that. And below that is output name. You can save it. I'm going to rename the video to Card Spring Tutorial. It's Card Spring Tutorial. And I already have it preset to save in my videos folder. Press save. These settings you don't need to mess around with. And make sure this, this is like a sh this is like a show of what your timeline actually is. So this over here shows what's gonna be exported. So if you have if you want a tiny portion of your video to be exported, you can use these over here. These are essentially in and out points for exporting. So if you just want this portion of your video exported, that's what you do. But in this case, I want the whole thing exported. So I'm gonna take that to the end again. And then from there, we'll press export. Let Premiere Pro take its time to export your video and that's it, you've done. You've successfully started, edited and finished the video. But my friends, that is all I have for you today. If you learn how to spring a deck of cards or make a video, edit a video in Premiere Pro, like and subscribe, I will deeply appreciate it. But that is all and I hope to see you in the next one. Adios amigos. And I also wanna thank you for hanging around. Like this is a very basic how to get started with Premiere Guide. And like, if you'd like to know more, like if you want me to do some more tutorials on how to use Premiere Pro, like definitely let me know in like the comment section because I've been using Premiere for almost four years now and I feel like I'm pretty good with it. And if you want like a, I might make this into like a running series where I bring you from beginner to more advanced editing. If that's something you're interested, definitely let me know. But yeah, you guys take care of yourself. Goodbye. I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Adios. How you doing guys, my name is Jeevans and today I'm gonna to show you how to spring a deck of cards. Hold the both corners, so thumb and your ring finger or index finger, whichever one. I like to use both. So grab the deck of cards, hold two ends there yeah, and just pinch it like that. After you're done pinching it, you wanna keep this hand, your opposite hand, so like that as if, so when you catch the cards, they land in your hand like that. It's a bit of a cradle shape, just like that. Pinch the deck of cards on the other hand and let them go. Let's show you one more time. Pinch both ends, release. And when you release, you wanna release from your thumb. So like that. So you release from here. So. Three, two, one. So, so you're kind of going and you're applying more pressure as you release the cards. And that is how you spring a deck of cards. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Adios amigos. Woo!